Oh. All right. So welcome, uh, Austiseto. Uh, I am with uh, Tobia here in the lab. So we are about to start. So unfortunately, in your side, you will have to then uh, view only because you don't have even a single software that we are using here in the lab. But nevertheless, you can still remain and I will make sure uh, I record this session and you will, I will make it available after this. Okay. So the software here is called Factory IO. That's the one I normally use to, to program. It's like it's a station, you build your plant here, and then, then you, you program using either, uh, let's, let me show you the kind of softwares you can use to program it. So these are a number of softwares you can use to program it or even hardware. So some some PLC manufacturers they do allow uh, some sort of a PLC simulate, like here S7 PLC simulate. Others they do allow you to connect through what is called uh, OPC. OPC client data and others obviously you must use their or their physical equipment like all these other ones, Allen Brakley and stuff like that. You use uh, physical PLCs to connect to this uh, to this software called Factory IO. Okay, it's yeah, so. Pectio has stations, a, vari a variety of stations that you can build. Normally, they are all based on material handling purposes. Like, once you are done with your products, you want to transport them somewhere. Because they didn't, they didn't want to combine it with robotics, and they didn't want to combine it with... Uh, with CNCs because obviously they will be tapping into another market now when you're now doing robotics and CNC. Although I do have a software here in the lab that can work with robotics and material handling processes such as conveyor belts and stuff like that. But the software, it's not easy to make it available for, for people. You have to do it here in the lab and yeah it's just a long long process because the the training i designed it for you guys so that you can be able to practice from home explore more 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 uh, uh, skills because there are almost six programming languages if you're curious about a certain language you will be able to set up your pc and start working on it and also yeah, there's more actually you can do with this with this software, honestly speaking. So this is how I position stuff. I shouldn't lose you, now. Are you in the same page as me? Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't lose you. So yeah, or you prefer observing first. Yeah. Okay, let's record while I talk and and then of course this thing records for 40 minutes. When that 40 minutes ends, then you will do whatever that I do, and then we record the other thing. Okay, so you have a notebook? Okay, so now, as you saw, I, I drag and, and, and place uh, items, and you see this one, it's on the floor. We use, there's right and there's left. We use left click. No, I want, we use right click to move around. Yeah, right. The, when you use the right, yeah, nothing, nothing happens. Yeah, so everything here works normally with left with with, with right click. I mean, 
only when you wanna uh, uh, click on something like I do, I'm doing now, that's where you use a uh, right click. But otherwise, everything works with with with, with left click. So if I press V, letter V, and hold it, then I click at an item. The item will go up. So to explore the features of how, uh, let's say I want you to, to, to face back, you, you can also right click on it, left click on it, and then you will be able to turn it around, as you can see here, and then even the pitch, and then uh, vertical, you are able to click also through right click to move it, and then, when you click on your left click, and then this is now I use the right click when I do this. And then I use the left click to do to turn around. Right click is basically when you are moving items. Yeah. So I position it nicely there, right? And also some of the pictures we have, we have a drone effect. So with the drone, as I use the scrolling button, I am able to go up and down nicely. And then this one, it's it kind of moves far, actually. It's called orbit camera. The other one is called fly camera. So I I I I, I simply call it drone effect. Okay. Therefore, your movement, whenever you want to move somewhere, and when you want to turn and stuff like that, they don't have the same effect. They don't give the same effect. You will have to practice them. That's why the other thing is, the fact that you are going to go home with the software, you, you will get the chance to explore all the features the software has. And then the other thing that I didn't mention, I'm already teaching myself uh, HMIs, and the software does work with both, uh, both virtual and physical HMIs, which is which is which is a corner. So most plants, they normal even how no matter how small it is, they tend to have an HMI. So knowing only how to do PLC is not enough. So you need to have at least one combo with an HMI. So as we progress along, we're gonna get to a point where we do HMI because I know HMI is for for the for, for goddesses, and very soon I'll start HMIs for WCC cement cement for the cements uh, uh Pota. Very soon, I am a student as well, and I'm an employee. So yeah, I I can't learn things as fast as I, uh, as I want, but yeah, I will get it. Don't, 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 don't crash, please, don't crash. Right. Okay, that's my head part in there. It fell far away. I don't know why it did that, but it's fine. You can always track it. If it happens that you lose it, leave it just because like the plant is big and I'm sure when I'm when, when I zoom out, I, I can't see it, you won't see it. So it is possible. But luckily they always have a shade. I don't know why they did that. They always gave us a shade effect. So you can easily trace it the shade. But if it happens that you lose it, just leave it. You can just click on delete so that it delete wherever it is if you are. Yeah. The, your clicking is still on it, like you know, I don't want to know it's still clicked. So if I delete, it will go away. But if you click on the side, then you can't delete it anymore. So, but after placing it, if I, it's a it's a it's a tricky. It's not too much, so take it. It was quite too much. Car, they can say a fair line, it's really insufficient funds. You can't. Yeah, you're building a module that you're going to program. So roughly you can, Carrie uh, King, you can use this as a way of building a, a simulation for your, for your client. 
How can this thing work? Because most of the time you will always have a situation where it's either you're gonna be doing this for 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 a plant that revolves around uh, tanks and 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 pumps or conveyor pairs. I say I'm not okay if you want to do that because most instrumentations are there basically, isn't it? Process and instrumentation are basically revolving tanks, pumps, valves, solenoid valves, and 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 and, and conveyor belts where possible. Otherwise, you are gonna go to uh, uh, robotics. So these are specifically digital for now, and as we we progress, this, we're gonna go to analog. I recently taught myself analog. And I'm planning to introduce it with my mechanical students because once you use, once you use uh, what you call this, once you use HMIs, it's recommended to you know over the leave analog. Because you, you monitor nicely the flows and stuff like that, yeah. The speed of the pump and things like that. It gives you an, analogs gives you a nice uh, feedback loop in a way that like you understand for it. Okay, I want to fill up the tank, how far the tank is, at what rate am I gonna fill it up and stuff like that. So yeah, recently I told myself those things. And whenever I teach myself a try by all means to create a video. So please guys, follow me on my YouTube. Because yeah, whenever I get a chance, I put all the stuff there. All right, this is this is the smaller than a plant, as you can see. Let me tell you this, about, about, let me tell you a fact. If you go to cements, they don't have this part. They only have their cement PLC and that's it and LED lights. You will never get to this far, cement. So, mm -hmm. remember, this is the uh, proprietary rights and, 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 and equipment for other companies. Actually, all the companies that deal with, with, with conveyor belts. So, they will have to align themselves with a certain brand and it will end up with fire. Remember their mission is to sell, they are not to, the moment you combine a PLC, the, 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 a specific branded conveyor belt, you are simply saying, when that guy goes and go to, 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 to the field, he will want that brand of a conveyor belt. Yes, so now they might as well package it to a business and conveyor belts, which one, you know? Yeah, the space of controlling and automation is it's a really big, and all the uh, all uh, all of manufacturers and PLCs don't have the actuators in simple terms. They don't do actuation. They only spe specialize in whatever they do. If one are special, uh, when, if one do actuation, you must go to tra uh, training centers such as this one that I have, buffets or stuff like that. They can build a smaller yana model whereby. So they will use the Siemens PLC, yes, and then they connect with the uh, maybe Stradina products or the Fischer Technique products, then they build a nice model, then they run it. So what is needed for it? The guys who are producing factory IO, they need to establish a relationship with Siemens. So that Siemens, like especially when you're doing page one, yeah? Siemens, they did uh, uh, amend their code of, on, on Siemens Chapota to allow this software to communicate with Siemens so that when you when they sell, they know already you can access Siemens and you learn Siemens. You learn all those PLCs basically using this software. And which is, yeah, it's a, it's a plus in a way. Okay, so now the other beauty about this software that you, you that is lovely of it the most software is that you are able to click on an item like I did to convert belt and you are turning and you can even turn it on. So you can build 
any sort of complicated plant, yeah, and you test it before you even write a code. Yeah, and then you test it. And also to check the condition of your, you can check even the condition of your, of your, the status of your, of your buttons. You see this one is yellow. Remember that time we were running, we were yellow. So, and let me go back like this. You see the convert belt is yellow. So yellow means that it's live, yeah? There's mutaka seta. So if I press this, it becomes white. If I let go, it becomes uh, a, a, a yellow again. So it means that it has live current on it. So normally when you do our ladder logic, we'll have a push button as a normally open, and then this one as a normally closed so that it can carry the signal uh, through. But Kaleda, we do just normally open, because we need to oppose it, oppose it. So now, if you press F4, it's the same as going to file drivers, then you get here. Then after here, I'm going to teach you two ways, I just said three ways to connect to this machine. Ne? The fourth one is absolute MHJ. Their software is dark. I don't like it. So I'm gonna teach you via the Modbus TCP IP client, and later on I'll teach you via OPC client, and later on I'll teach you the cement. You prepare or furniture the cement. You will have access to the cement PLC and software. Then I'll give you. So my aim is the cement is just cement. Choruses is not just choruses. You get you have Festo under the umbrella. You have Schneid under the umbrella. You have ABB under the umbrella. You have a lot of companies that are able to work with with codices. So when you want to learn PLC, I recommend a PLC that is better time. Yes, you might not come across it like as a cement. But the knowledge transfer will be able to make you understand it. Why is why are we having variables? Why are we having that? Why are we having that? So we'll start with the mod pass TCP client approach. Then first thing first, you see it comes out like this. The number of inputs over here, you can increase them to any number you want. I haven't tested the maximum. I don't know it, but this is yeah. You can go to any number you want. Then you want to drag your start with BL point zero and your stop with BL point one. Then this side we have your, your roller conveyor. Ne? Okay. And then next up, we go to configuration. On configuration, we just want to remove the registers. So now, guys, I cut all the bullshit. I don't do the theory or the PLC, it's a guy, a guy, I don't care, like not program PLCs. And you wanna see now, I don't teach techniques that they teach for cement. I don't teach you end gates or gates and stuff like that, go on one, no, we apply them. Okay, something's wrong here. What do you want from me? When you change this to zero, enter. Oh, zero, enter. Okay. I don't memorize anything, guys. Pardon me, please. I don't memorize anything. I'm not a strong believer of uh, uh, user memory. I don't use it in that. I always forget everything I know, I always forget. That's why I prefer to transfer the skill. So now we've uh, configured our, 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 our station. I'm going to expand it as time goes on, but the most recommended thing, Corey, Rebelli, you know, a basic platform. So as soon as you click on something and you, you amend it, yeah, when you leave it like this, it's on normally uh, uh, closed, open, I mean, so you're gonna have issues. So you must leave it to its normal state. So we're left with 10 minutes of it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine.
Zwaki, I will have to have 10 minutes to allow uh, Tobia here to do what we have done. So after 10 minutes, I feel like this thing will cut us and then I will have to have 10 minutes so I can allow her to, to do what we have done. Remember, this is not a typical classroom whereby you might just go home with a board. No, I don't work like that. I want you to get experience if anything. So now, now we go to... <laughs> Yes, yes. Mara, after after when this 10 minutes ends, like we have this 10 minutes here, yeah? I think obviously we're using Zoom, Zoom for 40 minutes, and then now we're left with 10 minutes and that thing. But when it ends, I won't renew the thing. I can just renew it, but I won't start recording immediately. Yeah, let me put it like that. So that you can be able to uh, uh, practice what we have just done. Okay, okay so okay. now we're uh, on the Yes. Can I ask something? Yes, yes, yes. Can I be able to download these things, get them more high, or I'm going to have to come through to you and help me, like the software? I will give you the okay. ka, ka Google Drive. Drive. OK, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, while she's working on, 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 on this, after this technique, I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will try to load them and show it to you. All right, thank you. So for for courses, we go to new project. Okay. And then we're going to go to standard project. And then obviously we all know how to save again. It's like if you, you want to go to documents and a new folder and stuff like that, change the name and stuff like that. That is similar. That is uh, almost the same across all programming platforms. Okay. Hey, these softwares are very heavy. I don't know why, 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 why. The Japotal, same thing. So that that by the time we get to Siemens, I will be teaching you guys on your own laptops. I don't use. Uh, portal here in the lab. So then the kind of PLC we're using, it's called hmm. Where is my PLC? I see it. But I'm going to choose this one. No, that's the one here. Yeah. Codices control win version three. That's the one. And then the language, look the number of languages are here. We have CFC, continuous function charts. We have function block diagram. We have log ladder logic. We have sequential chart. We have ST. Where's IL? Oh, we don't have IL. Instructional, we don't have instructional. But I, at this moment, can do CFC, FPD, LED, and ST. You should have a CFC fan, and I'll be an all round on this software in particular. So, okay. Is it done? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it will come like this. It will come like this. And then, first thing first you're going to do, you go to, to the device, right click on it, add device. And then, go here, you're going to go under field devices. Yeah? Oh, field passes, I mean, whoa. I don't know. Field passes are protocols responsible for failed devices. So they call it failed bus. That is a theory that you must go read in your own time. But normally you don't work around the, 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 these things. So you don't need to stress too much. So we go to ethernet, we enable your, your PC card. There's what we call ethernet card. Yeah? 
that your computer has it, like broken and at a point. That's why we're enabling it here. And then next up, we're gonna click on the device name, can after that we can have uh, the internet, and then we're gonna go to Modbus because of we are working with Modbus TCP, and then we're gonna put it as a slave, Modbus TCP slave, yeah? And then we add device. And from here, I need to check the version. It's very important to understand the version because version sometimes they don't correspond, yeah? So the next step will be to go here, and then okay, more on under system tray. We call this this is system tray. We come here, you right click, and then about. So the PLC, this is the actual device, né? that is the PLC that we need to use to control. So it is called uh Corusis control win. Win stands for Windows, né? So this is a Windows-based PLC version three, né? Then this version here. 3.5 so, uh, 15 stands for service pack, and then there is dot 40. You know, service pack 15.40. It is very critical and it needs to match the properties of this PLC over here. So let's go to update the bars. Then normally I configure them when I install. When I install this stuff for, uh, for, for the first time, I configure that with my, my with my with my guys by, by, by IT. But in your case, you have to choose the correct one, which is this one. You see, fifteen point forty. It matches. So normally, you have to first go under tools, library, no device respiratory, and okay, under PLCs, and then. The one that will say maybe 16 over here, or even the one that will say 17, you will check it out. I grew up on a Mogi 64 bit. We don't work with 64, we work with 32 bit. Remember when we were dealing with that, with that side? Oh, we can say on our folder called 86. That it means that we are dealing with 32 bit. 86 in Microsoft Windows terminology stands for 32 bit. And then 64 is 64 bit. Right, those are like PLCs nowadays have grown to become piece IT actually. Like I don't know wow, but yeah, you need to have a little bit of appreciation in your IT. So, so some of them you'll find that you don't need. Like in this case, this one, the minimizing yana. I want to yeah. Let's say I don't want this one. You go and uninstall it, because sometimes it takes priority. So you select uh, the 15.40, but it will take priority here yeah, the 16 version. Because you know, normally it's natural, right? Even when you uh, install a driver a new software update here, it will take priority. So you are now it takes priority. Sorry. I do have the latest version, let me work with it. But not realize don't worry. The one that we have in here is still older. So then from there. We then gonna make sure that our village buses they correspond as well. So this one, remember, I did them myself. But so you're gonna come to Ethernet adapter, the version of everything, take it out, and then you're gonna go to Modbus, and then all the TCP Modbuses you open them. All this TCP you will open them. Then the ones that you don't want under Modbus TCP, you take them out. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, 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 terminologies here. The serial serial bus. This is a these ones are serial devices, serial master, serial port, serial slave. They work with the same philosophy here USB. They are bus serial protocol. It's something a big this year when I was doing masters because my masters is on uh, automation and uh, advanced industrial networking protocols. So yeah, I will teach you what I know and what I learned on a regular basis. That's how I, I work. So from here, 